So today I'm going to show you how to control your Bitcoin fees in Bitcoin Core, as well as see what the actual fees are. So this is something that's kind of frustrated me because it's a little bit cloak and dagger, but this will make it a lot more obvious what your fees will be before you send them. So like I said, I am using Bitcoin Core, which is super similar to Bitcoin QT. Um, so essentially, if I go to the Send tab here, if I was to just enter a address and then give an amount, um, if I went down to the bottom here the, for the transaction fee, if you like click on the recommended, it gives you BTC per, per kilobyte. So that's where it can be a little frustrating is actually what it's going to do is group together a whole bunch of your incoming Bitcoins to send to somebody else. And the more that it has to group together to get the amount that you want to send, the higher the transaction fee is because essentially the bigger the transaction. So um, it's not the size, it's not the amount of Bitcoins that determines the fee, it's the uh, size in kilobytes. So unfortunately, if you just type in an amount here, it doesn't tell you how many kilobytes the transaction is going to be. So to actually find out what it is, um, you need to go into the settings and go to options, and then go to wallet, and then enable the coin control feature. So that's the what we're going to be using. It's very powerful and super helpful. So then if we go to inputs right here, we can actually choose which bitcoins we want to send. So which ones, which of the ones that were sent to us, we're gonna send somewhere else. And so you can use those to add up to your amount. So for example, if I was to select just this top one right here, you're gonna see the amount of bytes right here, and then you can see what the fee would be. And then after the fee, how much you have left over. So instead of giving you a fee per kilobyte, because then you wouldn't know uh, what your actual overall fee is, this gives you a total fee and your amount of bytes. So if I was to select a whole bunch here, then you can see now the fee is just growing because the amount of bytes is growing. Um, so where this gets really powerful is you'll see I have a whole bunch here that are really small amounts. And essentially if those were included in what I was going to send, then they would greatly increase the size of the transaction and that would waste a lot of Bitcoin. So right now Bitcoin is pretty valuable. I think it's about $17,000 a Bitcoin. So if I was to select all right here, you'll see that the fee is set to 0.1 Bitcoin, which would be $1,700 to make this one transaction. And this will greatly lower the fee if I do the coin control. In a sense, I'm just not gonna select the ones that are very low value um, in sending, like if I was going to send all of them, because they would actually cost more to send than they're worth. So I'm going to just select, you can see the amounts here on the left. If I just select the ones that are actual, like reasonable amounts, like this one is several thousand times bigger than this one, uh, than this one is down here. So, uh, I'm just essentially not going to send what would be referred to as dust, very small amounts of bitcoins. So with this, you can control the amount that you're going to spend in fees on your transaction by not including all the like really tiny amounts in there or maybe even just spending less bitcoin uh in the sense of then you don't need to use those small um those small amounts of bitcoin so it can definitely it's very powerful in the sense that it can save you a lot in bitcoin transaction fees so after you've selected what you need then you can just hit okay right there and you'll notice there's one field right here where it says change um, if you had typed in an amount right here, like if I typed in 0.5 BTC and click somewhere else, then you see this change right here. This is essentially saying the amount I've selected is that much bigger than what I'm sending right there. So um, you'll have to make those equal out essentially to um, to make it send correctly. So uh, that is how to calculate what your fee is going to be as well as the transaction size before you send it.